Throughout time and tradition, it's always been customary to make a formal presentation of the bride and marriage. And so as we come together here today, I now ask who has the distinct honor and privilege of presenting this beautiful woman in marriage. I do. Go ahead and give her a kiss. And just pass her hand to James. You guys step forward, just turn and face each other, holding all four hands. Let me... I'd like to say welcome to family and friends. We are gathered here today in the sight of God to act as the witnesses to the wedding union of James and Melissa and to share in the joy of this most special occasion. Your presence here today not only adds the importance and the beauty of this moment, but it also helps to complete it. Two lives, two people, a man and a woman, both created in the image of God, but yet so very different. Today they stand before God and they stand before all of us as one, wishing to share the rest of their lives together as husband and wife. Let us pray. Father, may the love of James and Melissa be ever so strong, such that no misunderstanding could ever loosen their bond, and no amount of passing years will ever have the power to thin the bright light of love that now glows in them. Help them gain the wisdom they need to discern the true valued married life, and let no circumstances ever take from them the wholesome peace and inward satisfaction only faith and trust in you can give. We offer this prayer through the body and blood of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. James and Melissa, know now as we proceed that you are about to enter into a very serious commitment in which you'll be forming a lifelong bond not only between each other, but also with the Lord. For we are reminded in the scriptures, unless the Lord builds the house, they labor in vain who built it. And so as your marital relationship grows, it must deepen and enrich every facet of your lives, not only physically, but spiritually as well. Therefore, as you now prepare to end the time-honored union of matrimony, I urge you both to put into practice all those ideals you mean in both this ceremony and the holy institution of marriage. Always remember that marriage is one of life's greatest commitments, one of life's greatest blessings, and also one of life's greatest challenges. Always remember that in marriage, it's the little things that are important. Remember that you're never too old to hold hands or to say, I love you at least once a day. A good marriage is not only about the number of days you've been in love, but it's also about the number of ways you've been in love. A good marriage depends upon the amount of sacrifice you're willing to make for the other person. A good marriage means never going to sleep angry or taking the other person for granted. In a good marriage, your courtship doesn't end with your honeymoon, but it must continue throughout all of your succeeding years together. A good marriage means that you always greet each other with a smile, regardless of how stressful a day you may be having. It's having a mutual sense of values and common objectives. It means facing the world by standing together and forming a circle of love that's around your whole family. It's doing things for each other, never with an attitude of duty or obligation, but with a totally loving spirit of joy. A good marriage means speaking words of appreciation to each other while you demonstrate your love in thoughtful little ways. And it's never about looking for perfection in each other, but rather it's about accepting each other even with your imperfections. A good marriage requires that you always have the capacity and the willingness to forgive and to forget. A good marriage cultivates flexibility, patience, understanding, and yes, even a good sense of humor. You both must learn to laugh at life's troubles and always see the lighter side of the problems that might come your way. A good marriage is about creating an atmosphere in which the two of you can grow together, yet still find room for your individual development. It's a common search for the good and for the beautiful. It's established relationship in which dependence is mutual and help is always reciprocal. A good marriage is not only about finding the right partner, but it's also about being the right partner. And most importantly, for a good marriage to last a lifetime, it has to be built around the love of God. Therefore, James and Melissa, may the vows you're about to make, as well as the ties you're about to bind, never be taken lightly. May they greatly strengthen your union, member throughout all of your coming years together. Never fear and never waver in your love, but always have a forgiving heart and understanding mind since those we love become such a deep part of us. Love is the reason why this special day was chosen by the both of you, so you could begin your lives together as husband and wife. And love is the reason why you both must give with all of your heart for the good of the other. And love is the reason that together today, before this assembly, you'll become one. And so James and Melissa may journey lovingly together into a glorious future with hope, anticipation, and the joy of each other's companionship. We who are in attendance with you here today give you our blessings and our best wishes for a long and happy union so that the mutual love that you are now about to seal 
with matrimonial vows will never, ever end. As we now come to the vow portion of our ceremony, I turn to you first, James, and I ask, do you, James, take this woman, Melissa, to be your lawfully wedded wife, to live together in the eyes of God in the holy union of matrimony? And will you love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto her for as long as you both shall live? I do. Okay. Do you, Melissa, take this man, James, to be your lawfully wedded husband, to live together in the eyes of God in the holy union of matrimony? And will you love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, keep yourself only unto him for as long as you both shall live? I do. Okay. James, repeat after me. I, James. I, James. Take you, Melissa. Take you, Melissa. To be my beloved wife. To be my beloved wife. To have in the whole. To have in the whole. From this day forward. From this day forward. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do we part. Till death do us part. Okay. Melissa, repeat after me. I, Melissa. I, Melissa. Take you, James. Take you, James. To be my beloved husband. To be my beloved husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. In good times and in bad. In good times and in bad. For richer and for poorer. For richer and for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death do we part. Till death do we part. Okay. Traditionally, nuptial vows are solemnized by the exchanging of wedding rings. A wedding ring is an outward and visible sign of an inward and spiritual bond, which unites your two loyal hearts into perpetual love. For just as everlasting love is like an unbroken circle with no beginning and no end, then let these rings also be a symbol of your everlasting unbroken circle of love. And as often as either of you sees these rings, let them be a reminder of the special moment in time of the endless love that you both promised to each other here today. All right, little man, you got them? Open it up for me, okay? You get it? There you go. All right, let me get this one and this one. All right, you're good, man. Thank you, James. There we go. James, I want you to take this beautiful and precious ring you've chosen to be a symbol of your love for Melissa, placing it halfway up the ring finger of your beloved new wife and looking into her eyes. Repeat <laughs> after me. Melissa, I give you this ring. Melissa, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my commitment to the vows. And my commitment to the vows. We've exchanged today. We've exchanged today. Just as this ring. Just as this ring. Encircles your finger. Encircles your finger. Know that my love. Know that my know that my love <laughs> encircles your heart encircles your heart with all that i am with all that i am and all that i have and all that i have i will always honor you i will always honor you with this ring with this ring i thee wed i thee wed all right just slide it up there okay all right melissa i want you to take this beautiful and precious ring you've chosen to be a symbol of your love for james placing it halfway up the ring finger of your beloved new husband and looking into his eyes repeat after me James, I give you this ring. James, I give you this ring. <laughs> as a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And my commitment to the vows. And my commitment to the vows. We've exchanged today. We've exchanged today. Just as this ring. Just as this ring. Encircles your finger. Encircles your finger. Know that my love. Know that my love. Encircles your heart. Encircles your heart. With all that I am. With all that I am. And all that I have. And all that I have. I will always honor you. I will always honor you. With this ring? With this ring. I thee wed. I thee wed. And just slide it up there and then just continue <laughs> holding all four hands, okay? Let us pray. James and Melissa, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make his face shine down upon you. May the Lord give you his peace. Father, you are the author of life and the creator of the very first husband and wife. I call upon you now to bless this holy union that has just taken place here today between James and Melissa. May your Holy Spirit guide and comfort them as they begin their journey together down the joyous path of married life. May they love, honor, and cherish each other and live together in faithfulness, patience, wisdom, and true godliness. And may their home always be a haven of blessings and of peace. We offer this prayer through the intercession of your Son, our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. 
But therefore God is now joined together, let no one ever separate. For as much as you, James, and you, Melissa, have joined yourselves together here today in holy matrimony, joined in heart, joined in body, and joined in spirit, and have witnessed the same before God, family, and friends, buying the same by the exchange of these beautiful wedding rings, I therefore, as a servant of the Almighty God, and with the greatest deal of pleasure, hereby pronounce you husband and wife. James, you may kiss your new bride, and you all may applaud our newly married couple. All right. Present to you for the very first time as husband and wife, Mr. and Mrs. James and Melissa McDaniel.